Hello friends, this is Jess from Knit Plan Jess. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So this may be a relatively quick video, but we are going to be doing an August Franken Planner setup. So for my new viewers, welcome. I'm so glad that you guys decided to join me today. And for my returning viewers, welcome back. No matter what, thank you for your support and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. So whenever I set up my Franken planner, I always set up my Franken planner that is used. Um, it's basically like my actively used Franken planner. This has everything for the current month. But then I also have a, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I think I call it something different every time. Basically like a future Franken planner where I put in um, the fo the following months. That way I can be able to keep this nearby and be able to get the following month prepped before it starts. And then that way it's just really easy for me to get everything moved over. So we have my Franken planners. We have my stack of planners. Let's go ahead and get started. So we are starting with my Franken planner. This is my actively used Franken planner. Um, this, like I mentioned, has everything for July. So what we're going to start with is actually taking out for July. Um, so we have my daily planner, which is all beautifully filled in. Oh my goodness, this is this thing is like one of my absolute favorite planners. Um, this is today's spread. Well, okay. So as I'm recording this, it is the 31st. <laughs> um, but this is today. So it what it is the journaling and the coloring sticker book. And I did decide to color it in a little bit. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and remove this because I am ready to set up August. And then we have my weekly. Um, my weekly is, it is the Modern Meow. However, I use the Modern Meow dividers and cover, but I use a different dashboard spread. Um, so I really, really, really love the dashboard. It's just, it has been working so well for me. And while I miss decorating the vertical, I don't miss using it. <laughs> and then we come to my social media, which um, I have been using the monthly layout. The dashboard just, I don't know. I can't get the dashboard. I can't, I can't get myself to use the dashboard. But I use these spreads and then I create these little fun, these little fun planning pages. Um, I really love like creating the task pages for just like my list of stuff that I want to do. So yeah, let's go ahead and take that out. And I also have been trying for the past couple months to use the vertical hourly. This came from the, um, this came from the back to school line. And as you see, I start using it and then it, I, I fall short. I didn't even use it this past week, so I don't think I'm going to be using this one anymore. Um, and then the other change that's going to be made to this is I have this extras, and I've been putting in this vertical or this horizontal planner, and I haven't really been decorating it like I expected. So I am going to take that out. However, I am not going to take out the note paper. I'm going to leave the note paper in and I'm probably going to throw in like some dot grid as well. Um, just because I do like having the note paper in there. Oh, I missed this. I missed this one. All right. So there we go. We have all of the monthlies taken out. And on that note, so here's all this, this will be put away, but let's go ahead and put together my Franken planner for August 1st. So we need also, I need a new sticker for my daily. And I want to show you what I have been using. So create with Mandy 
has these tab labels and these this blah, blah, blah. <laughs> these are the ones that I love using on my frosted dividers. Now the frosted dividers came from Alicia Plans. Um, she is in my description below and I do have a discount code. It's a 10% off code. Definitely highly recommend her frosted tab dividers. And then the um, Create with Mandy tab labels are fantastic for it. It has a, re a lot of really good options, which is one reason why I like to use these. And actually, I think let's go ahead and change out all of these because um, this is actually a new sheet that I bought because I got new tab dividers. Um, Alicia kind of changed up her tab dividers a little bit um, and I really like the new material that she's using. Well, at the time, I did not have... Okay, my nails are a little too long for this. <laughs> um, so at the time, I didn't have new Create with Mandy label, so I just I kind of made use of the other ones. But now that I actually have... Doo -doo -doo, let's go this week. Now that I, I have new tabs, let's go ahead and put the new tabs on. So then that way I have better labels because I've been using like daily and personal and business and I or blank personal and business and I really actually kind of prefer having like social media and this week um although I guess personal kind of makes sense but I don't know I prefer to have this week um okay I'm trying to remove the business because I want that to say social media I keep putting them on badly. Okay, we're trying again. There we go. All right, so now much better. All right, and as I said, we are going to put in for August. So we're starting with the daily planner. Um, I already have my daily in here. I have actually dated up the month but I haven't put like my word of the month and I will admit I'm kind of really struggling with choosing my words of the month for August um I wanted to have that ready by the time that I did this video and unfortunately it just didn't happen so I think I'm gonna I don't know, maybe take like today or the next couple days, but at least I have August ready and I have already started decorating it too. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Now we will go to my weekly planner and we are going to take it out of this one so here's august again it is the modern meow um i still have to do the calendar like i mentioned i'm struggling but i have at least started on the week and then probably today i will decorate for the week of the eighth as well i just i like to stay ahead when it comes to decorating my planner okay so i love i love this divider i think it is adorable and then we go to my social media. And as I mentioned, um, I'm not using the vertical hourly. I do have the vertical hourly in this, but I'm, I'm going to end up putting August back in there. So we're not going to use August. So let's go ahead and put in social media again. Ooh, I got to do this today. Like... This one is a priority because I need to set up my month. Now, the only thing that I will take from the vertical hourly is going to be this to-do sheet. Um, just because I love how this is laid out. So, I will take that. Part of me is really tempted to also take this one and really try to use this one as well. Let's do that. Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is like a really last minute, this is a last minute idea. So I am taking the to-do sheet and I'm taking um, the 
point, the point page, sorry. Um, as you see, this is what's on the back, but we are going to combine them together. So then that way I can be able to use this for my social media. Um, it will kind of get like a little weird for where that this is actually going to go. But let's just, let's see what, what happens. Just because I really like that to-do sheet and I want to use it. And I love the idea of the point. Um, and I used it for the previous month and it worked really well. So there's no reason why it shouldn't work well again. But it's just a matter of making sure that I use it. So Tombow adhesive on one page and then I just very carefully line it up so that way we have that and I think I might just actually stick that right in the middle of the dashboard so that way you have the first side of the dashboard my to-do list my point system and then the other side of the dashboard and then it just goes straight into the mother oh my god I love this page I love this page sorry that was me getting really, really excited and yeah so I've got filler paper in there and that is that for my Franken planner. So as you see, it is definitely different than last time. Um, I know vertical hourly. I'm not putting the horizontal in there. I, I, I think I like this better. This is a little bit more simple for me. Um, and I think I was trying to overcomplicate it. And sometimes I have to give myself a couple of months to see how something will work before I fully decide whether I'm gonna do it or not. So let's go ahead now and put away everything from July and in turn take out September to put into the other notebook. Um, I'm also going to plan on taking out this horizontal and putting this back into the other horizontal as well. All right, so first up is this one. So this is actually the one that I'm using for the dashboard. Nothing to take out, nothing to put in. I always just like to kind of show it. Oh, my daily. So this is January through June. As you can see, it is a thick baby. She thick. And then here's the daily this is one's for oh snap this one is for um july through december crikey um also i realized that i'm not doing my microphone so i hope you guys can hear this all right all right so <laughs> we are gonna put july back August is in my planner and I took what is going to be September out and there we go and you can definitely tell like the completed months compared to the unused months and I love it like when this one's done I'm gonna have two planners this size and it's gonna be amazing okay so daily is officially done and let's go ahead and put the daily planner into this one. I'm gonna try to put them all in at one time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think it really just depends on like if I have pages that are already done, but since these are all unused, it worked perfect. All right, next we have my Modern Meow, my weekly planner. Um, I love this one so much. And let's go ahead and put July in. And then we're going to take out September. I love the monthly for October too. I think that's one of my favorite. And September goes into future Franken planner. And then we have the social media monthly. So social media monthly, basically what I do is all of like the planning sheets that I create, those go in the front. 
I do save these. I like having them to like look back on. Um, it's just, it's, it's fun to see what I've created. And then we have June and then we're going to put July back. Um, I'm kind of debating on, I was kind of debating on keeping this one, but I think I'm going to, um, just because I like having that kind of record of what I have tried. And then we're going to take September out and September goes into here and then future Franken planner is all done. Um, so this is the vertical hourly. What I am going to do, it's technically called the study habits planner, but what I am going to do with this, I'm actually going to put August back into here. And in September, I'm going to take out these two pages. I'm just going to put them together just like I would, um, jo basically just like how I did with the, um, the August. And I'm going to put that in between the dashboard, just like that of my social media September. So then that way... I can be able to have it all ready for me. Now we are officially done with this one. And then this is the hourly undated that I have, or the, not the hourly. This is the horizontal undated that I have that I've been trying to use and it's just not working. Um, so I'm actually going to put that back in here because I will keep this around just in case I decide in the future that I want to use it. will be available for me. I basically keep this one like if I, if I want to use it I will use it. I might even start decorating it and not actually date it up so then that way if I decide in the future that I want to use a horizontal I have spreads already set up for it. But there we go. We are done. So let's go ahead and do a flip through of my ready to be used August planner. So we start out with my daily. So August daily is all ready to be used and finished decorating. And then we come to my vertical or I'm sorry, my weekly, which is the dashboard layout. Love that layout. And then we have the social media and this one I added in the to-do sheet and the point page from the study habits and then extras is just filler paper so oh and then my my pocket in there my envelope so there we go I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it kind of inspires you and gives you some ideas but thank you guys so much for joining me today and I hope you have a good day see you on the next video Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.